I was 15 years old when everything changed. At first, I thought it was for the better. I was wrong. I decided pretty early on that with great power there must also come great responsibility. I live by that motto every day, even though not everyone likes me for it. Spider-Man's an abomination! You got the bad guys on one hand, and Spider-Man on the other! How does he get there so fast? He's in cahoots! Don't be naive, New York! He took his hatred a bit too far. Get over it, Gargan! It's okay. Eventually someone liked me. For the last ten years, I've been chasing down someone very dangerous. A crime lord known on the streets as the Big Man. Turns out when I first started, I put a pretty big dent in his crime empire. This guy Hammerhead works for him. I used to get in his way. A lot. As I got older, I even found someone to help track the Big Man down. He paid Oscorp, my best friend's dad's company, to create enhanced individuals to keep me busy while he continued his affairs in the background. Norman Osborne claimed to know nothing about this. I am horrified to learn that my company had anything to do with this. The scientist responsible, Dr. Otto Octavius, has since been fired and jailed, as he should be. About a year ago, I thought I had the big man cornered in a warehouse. Unfortunately, I had the wrong guy. And even worse, my mask came off. So now the real big man knew who I was. Not long after, a new psychopath showed up to challenge the big man. The goblin exposed who the real big man was. But he was just too dangerous to keep around. I did everything I could to bring him down. But I failed. I was angry. I searched for him everywhere. But he was gone. After taking a five month break from being Spider Man, vampires, meeting the girl I'd eventually marry, alien symbiotes, losing Aunt May, the time has finally come to finish what started ten years ago. Right now, aren't you? Captain Stacy? They finally got enough evidence on this guy to bring him down. Don't mess this up. How could I mess it up? I'm not even here. Are you lying to me? Lying? Define lying. <sighs> Just don't knock him out, okay? Copy that. Huh. Well, Fisk, you cheaping out? Where's all the henchmen? The man don't need any to handle you when well, he's got me. Jeez, you're still working for this guy? Wait, weren't you killed? Now who could kill me? The guy that I thought was the big man. 
Ah, uh, what was his name? Lonnie. Tombstone. <laughs> oh, thanks, Spider Sense. It's been a while, kid. I love reminding people how hard I hit. Yeah, me too. Good seeing you guys. Like I said, good seeing you. How did I know you'd be here before the police? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm early to something for once. And yet it took you nearly a decade to find me. Which is honestly surprising, because, whoa, I see where they call you the big man. Stick around, kid, and you'll see why they call me the kingpin. <laughs> Pretty corny line, dude. That's usually my area of expertise. But seriously, I don't care what your name is. Big man, kingpin, Wilson Fisk. As long as by the end of the day you can be called inmate. Call me what you wish. As long as I can always call you Peter Parker. Right, that Parker kid. He sure knows how to throw together a Halloween costume, huh? Don't worry. I'm not a snitch. There are better ways to get what I want. How's Mary Jane? Stop. You don't know who you're dealing with. On the contrary, Parker. It is you who is unaware. <laughs> what the? How? 800 pounds. 2% body fat. Seriously? You need to sue the gym. You do not wear it well. So, serious question. When you cut yourself shaving, does marshmallow fluff come out? Ugh. And do fat people run around you to lose weight? That was fun. Willie? Willie? Captain Stacy. So about what you said in regards to knocking him out. It's a sad day, New York. Riots in the streets. Officers and civilians being killed. The whole city's on fire. And why? Because Spider-Man took out Wilson Fisk, the one man who kept things under control! Crime was not running rampant until the kingpin of crime was taken down! Parker! Yeah, JJ? A bunch of inmates from the RAF escaped and are now in Central Park! Go get me pictures of those freaks! Get out of the shot! Don't you see that we're live? This is J. Jonah Jameson with Daily Bugle News. How did things get so bad so fast? I mean, I had to take him down, right? He was doing so many bad things for so long. I just... I wasn't expecting this. I'm probably just overthinking this. I always do. Or at least I think I do. Wilson Fisk had to go away. No matter what. What the? Is that who I think it is? Dr. Otto Octavius. When I heard raft inmates escaped, I wasn't expecting this. Why are you staring at Oscorp? Norman Osborne and I have some unfinished business. Back away, Spider-Man. Old Storm and Norman, huh? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you back to the raft. He can come visit you there. Imbecile. 
Mita says the train. He didn't make it to Central Park. Setting up some plan to defeat me while we're in the middle of battle, huh? <laughs> Rude. So, ready to cooperate? You are so naive. Vulture? Is that you? Alright, Doc, what's going on here? Doc? Whoa! Oh, my head. Where am I? Ugh. Hello? What the? Mysterio. Where are you? This isn't funny. Now. One and only warning. Stay out of our way. I hate it when they team up. So, the Sinister Six, huh? Got a problem with that? No, no, not at all. Of course you don't, partner! The name just came to me. It's perfect. Almost perfect. As soon as we can prove that Spider-Man's evolved, it'll be the Sinister Seven. Speaking of which, I want to know why they're going after Norman Osborn. And since you're close, you can get the scoop. We're not all that close, JJ, and I'm not much of a reporter. Well, you're close with his son or something, and you're gonna do this, because you made me lose Brock. What? JJ, Eddie got fired because- Shut up, Parker. You've got the in on this one. There's the door! Fine, JJ. I'll go talk to Norman and get nowhere. But first, I have to check on something. Fury, just checking in. How is she? Miss Watson is doing just fine. That's Mrs. Parker. And sorry for dropping her on you. I just felt like she'd be safe there during all this craziness. Well, maybe next time you won't let your mask come off when a crime lord is looking right at you, kid. Yeah. Easier said. And what about this Sinister Six I'm hearing about? Do you have this covered? I do. I'm headed to Oscorp now to hopefully get some answers. I must say I was surprised to see you here, Peter. If you've come to visit Harry, unfortunately, he's still in Europe. No, I'm actually here to see you, Mr. Osborne. My boss wants me to ask you some questions. You can call me Norman, son. And ah, uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Let me guess. He wants to know about this notorious Sinister Six and what it has to do with me and Oscorp. Something like that. He was wondering why Dr. Otto Octavius would appear to have a vendetta against you. Why else, Peter? He blames me for his imprisonment. Simply because I was his employer during his arrest. So is he making the accusation that you were more involved than you say you were? Well, what do you think, Peter? Do you think I was more involved? No, I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just getting information for JJ. Sorry. Don't you dare apologize. I never do. What is this doing here? Ah, the glider. You recognize this? I do. Why do you have it? Peter, I'm afraid this next part of the conversation must remain off the record, understood? Sure. I know what you're thinking. Why do I have something that belonged to the Green Goblin? Well, I can assure you, Peter, it did not belong to him. Oscorp has been commissioned to create an aerial task force to assist the city in a maximum calamity scenario. The Green Goblin, as it were, was simply a lunatic who broke in, stole our technology, and sadly misused it. Because of this, the announcement of the task force has been delayed. That's a security alarm. It appears we've had a breach. Stay here, Parker. You'll be safe. And please, not a word of this to J. Jonah Jameson. The announcement of the task force will come at the proper time. You again. I warned you to stay away. You know, for someone who observed me for so long, you sure don't know what I'm about. No, 
Simon Osborn will now pay. Let's see how far you get with that Spidey tracer on you. Well, that could have gone better. A lot better. Captain Stacy, do you know anything about Oscorp putting together a task force? Of course, we're involved. And not just Oscorp, Stark Industries too. How do you know about that? Let's just say I have my sources. And really? Norman and Tony working together? Weird. Anyway, gotta go. Yeah, look at that, Doc. Spidey Tracer's pulling you up on my radar. That's weird. It's moving around. This might take a while to track. Yo, Adrian, where's your friends? Hey, make a left up here, will you? I think I'm gonna puke. Let's go down. Did those things always go on autopilot? <sighs> Still this active ear age, huh? Good for you. Theory? Spider-Man. What do you think of my upgrades to Adrian's tech flight? How are you contacting me here, Octavius? The same way I sent you to the Vulture. I utilized your spider tracer. You hacked my spidey tracer and changed the coordinates on me? An impressive piece of equipment. Who knew that Spider-Man was such a scientist? It took me longer to crack than I'd like to admit. Where are you keeping Norman Osborn? I told you to stay out of the way. But since you want to be involved so badly, I'll involve you. Norman is strapped to a bomb that I have created. A bomb, huh? Where is this bomb? That is the fun part. I have sent you the coordinates to several places that it might be. If you happen to find it, maybe you can save evil Osborne. So you're a bomb creator and Norman's the evil one. You have eight hours to find the bomb. Tick tock, Spider-Man. Okay, location number one. I can't believe the doc is sending me on fetch quests. This feels like a video game. Alright, if I were a bomb, where would I be? Herman! Oh, I get it. Every location's gonna have a different baddie that I have to fight. Probably. Well, you're tougher than normal. The doc upgrade you too? Yep. So be honest, is there really a bomb? Can you really afford the risk? I guess not. Either way, you're going back to the raft. Let's really put that shock armor to the test. <sighs> Close but no cigar. Maybe the suit will be a bit more reliable next time. What's next? Oh. What the? Welcome to my house of fun, Spider-Man. Let's play a little game, shall we? Guess which supervillain I am. Select the correct one, and you win. Select the wrong one, and you shall die. <laughs> Am I Craven the Hunter? Am I Morbius the Living Vampire? Am I Venom the Alien Symbiote? Or am I Dr. Connors the Lizard? Make your decision carefully. <laughs> Venom always says we fishbowl. Do your research.
these guys are going down pretty easy. Maybe that old Parker Luck is looking up for a change. Dang it, I spoke too soon. Yeah, this hurts already. Well, if it ain't Bug Boy! Hi, Alexi. I've been looking forward to this. Nope, oh, he almost got me that time. Stand still! What, so you can hit me? I vote no. Oh, right. You never shut up. Don't you just hate that? You want someone to shut up and they just keep going on and on and on and on and on and just incessantly talking. It's like they're trying to annoy you. They just keep going and going and going. Where are you going? <laughs> I got you. Well, you know, buddy, everybody gets one. Crap. Ow. Oh, my head's stuck. Good. And now I don't have to waste web fluid on you while we wait for the cops. A ton of electricity at one of the last locations. I wonder who's gonna be here. What's the matter, Duke Liche? You know, the whole chasing you thing is also kind of a cliche. Yeah, 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 it's also a cliche that you never like anything that I do. What, like breaking the law and hurting people? Uh, I guess you're right. Whatever, Spider Freak, this is a chase, not a... A what, a walk in the park? Yeah, pretty cliche, dude. Whatever! Haha, <laughs> Maxie, don't get mad. Hey, where'd you go? All right, you're pretty quick. I forgot about that. Fast as lightning, spider. Me too. I guess you forgot how much faster than I look. And I look pretty fast. And I guess you forgot how electricity works. What? Why weren't you electrocuted? Oh, because I didn't forget. The suit's rubber-based. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, well, you forgot not to take me off. I'm tired of your annoying little comments making me look extra stupider. And trust me, Maxie, my comments aren't the ones doing that. Ouchie. All right, Spider Freak, watch this. <laughs> Have you been working out? Or, like, just drinking a lot of milk? Hey, look, a water tower. Five down, one to go. This is the last location? The Statue of Liberty? Why? Oh, I get it. What is this place? Welcome, Spider-Man, to my old lab. Octavius, how you doing, buddy? Did you say old lab? Precisely. This is where I was held captive for years, working for Norman Osborn, and creating the villains to destroy you. You mean working for Fisk? There's no evidence that Osborne was involved other than the fact that it was his company, which you got fired from for doing this. Naivete does not suit you, Spider-Man. Okay, I'll play along. Let's say Osborne was involved from the very beginning. That doesn't excuse your involvement, Ock. No, I suppose it does not. But it does not excuse yours either. Mine? You saying I was involved, buddy? Of course, Spider-Man. Blame can fall on you, every which way. You remove Wilson Fisk, and what happens? The whole city burns to the ground. Yeah, I don't really buy into that whole butterfly effect thing, man. Fisk was hurting people. He had to be stopped. I'm just saying. Weigh out the factors. You removed Wilson Fisk because he was hurting others. But how many people are hurting now, since his removal? That's not... no. And what about these supervillains that I helped create? Think about it. How many people do they hurt? J. Jonah Jameson may be crazy, but he is onto something. There were no super villains until they were superheroes. You're just twisting things, Ock. Trying to shift the blame. Am I? Look at yourselves in the mirror, Spider-Man, and surely ask yourself, do you really do more good than bad for the world? Fine. 
We'll table that for the time being. But if this is all about Norman Osborne, why would you send me after your sinister six, as it were? Simple. I made them promises that I could not keep in order to get me to where I needed to be to handle Osborne. So I sent you to take care of things for me. <laughs> what am I, your errand boy? Like I said, Spider-Man, you want to do good. But everything you do seems to fit someone else's agenda. So that was your master plan? Have me take out the guys you owe debts to? Keep you away from Norman and your location? Did you lie about the bomb too? Not the bomb. <laughs>Do you really expect me to believe that you just killed Spider-Man? I expect you to remain quiet until we go live in 15 minutes. Then I expect you to speak your heart out, tell the truth about what you did to me, and apologize. I owe you no apology, Octavius. Besides, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, kill me, Otto. Show the world who you really are. The world already has an opinion of me. But soon, they will have a new one of you. <coughs> oh, good. This is all like solid plated under water pressure. Oh, maybe Ock is right. <coughs> maybe me getting involved is just making things worse. I definitely wouldn't be here right now. And now Harry's gonna lose his dad. Just like I lost Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. No. Uncle Ben. He told me to get up. Keep trying. Never stop fighting. No matter how bad it hurts, I'll own up. It's my responsibility. Dr. Otto Octavius. I am currently standing within the main office of Oscorp Industries. I have hacked the Bugle's monitor today to tell you the truth about the man who sits behind me. For years, Norman Osborne kept me locked away within a laboratory deep beneath a watery surface, forced me to create supervillains as you may know them, to destroy Spider-Man. Of course, as you know, I served time for this. However, Norman Osborne did not. We will remain live until Norman admits to his wrongdoings. If anyone approaches Oscorp, he shall die. I am not a monster, New York City. I am not to blame. Wilson Fisk employed Norman. Norman enslaved me to find a way to kill Spider-Man. And I did. Spider-Man is no more. How ironic. With the Avengers of World, he was potentially the only hero who could have saved you, Norman. The truth. Very well. Dr. Otto Octavius did indeed work for Oscorp, and we did pay him very well. But apparently, not well enough. Why would you do it, Otto? Why would you work for a man as evil as Fisk and harm so many lives just to make a little extra cash? Shut up, Osborne! Hi, Doc. You. Octavius, it's over. Don't make this worse. Once again, Octavius, 
It appears your plans go out the window. You're in enough trouble as it is, Otto. If you're telling the truth, let me help you. Let's go about this a different way. I am not the one who needs help. It's Osborne. And because no one can help him, he must be stopped permanently. Sorry, Otto. Not on the menu. Is this your plan? To doom us both? Nope. He is gone. Yes, this is all your fault, Spider-Man! Come on, you human claw machine, is that all you got? I have had enough of your interference! You and Osborne have one in the same. You are like a virus and must be removed. You and everything connected, including loved ones. It cannot just be Norman, it must be his son. And it cannot just be you, it must be your wife! That's right, Peter Parker. I know everything about you. Everything. There is no place that your friends and family can be safe. I wanted to help you, Octavius, but you just wouldn't listen. Empty threats. My arms have great power. Greater than yours. Smart man, Octavius, but not smart enough to understand that power is nothing without a sense of responsibility to back it up. Spider-Man, what a surprise. I'm glad you stopped by. I didn't get a chance to thank you for saving me from that monster. Not necessary. I'm here to let you know that I stopped Octavius because he was doing the wrong thing. Why he was doing the wrong thing, I don't know. But if his claims turn out to be true, you and I are going to be having a very different conversation. Well, I can appreciate that. And thank you, all the same. Yes, thank you. Peter Parker. For more than you even realize. Hey, Ozzy, it's me, Tony Stark, back with the Avengers from being off on some mission. There are no cameras around. You can drop the act. Are you sure you know how to control that? Of course. Besides, I know an expert at Ravencroft. <laughs> <laughs>